Oh, dinner is served. Wow. This is gonna be so good. Oh my. That's the best chicken I've ever made. Unbelievable. Wow. So here is the recipe for the turmeric chicken. So this is what you're gonna need. You can use regular chicken breast or you can use chicken tenders or the tenderloins, whichever you have. I like to buy all of our protein on sale. This um, chicken was originally $7.12, 30% off. So this um, came to $4.98 for this, the chicken I'm gonna use for this recipe. You're gonna need to buy some um, Greek yogurt. You're gonna need garlic, turmeric, um, Moroccan style um, spices, black pepper, and Himalayan salt. You need two nice clean spoons, um, a garlic press, a scissors, and then you're gonna need these skewers. And um, you'll be submerging the skewers in water for a couple of hours so that um, they will not burn when you are barbecuing this chicken, or we're gonna be cooking it over an open flame in our fire pit. Um, so we'll show you how that works, but you have to submerge them and I'll show so just a quick tip when making um, this recipe at home. Your hands, you need to use your hands, right? So um, your hands would be tanned from the turmeric. So I advise you to wear a little pair of rubber gloves. That's what I do, quick and easy, and then your nails or your hands are not tanned for a few days. Um, yeah, just simple. So let's get started. So first up is the Greek yogurt. I'm going to put half of the tub of Greek yogurt into the bowl using a fresh, a, a fresh spoon, okay? Okay. Next up, I am going to put the Himalayan salt. This is the one we use. I'm going to put a good, generous amount in here. And I'll probably re-season afterwards um, as well. Let me share that the um, Greek yogurt is not only a dressing for the chicken, it is also a, um, I have to get this open, I can't get it open with my gloves on. Um, the Greek yogurt is also a marinade and tenderizer for the chicken. So I'm putting in the black pepper now, putting in a good amount of black pepper. Next up, I'm going to open up my Moroccan seasoning. Okay, see this? Just gonna use my little shovel spoon. So that'll give me a nice portion size. See that, straight in. I'm gonna put that off to the side. Next up, I'm gonna open the turmeric. I keep the, everything in sealed jars just to make sure all the spices stay nice and fresh. I have another little shovel spoon here. Nice big dollop of the turmeric going in. Now, Bar, would you be able to squeeze in the um, garlic for me? And as Bar is getting that ready, I am just going to stir this lovely and fresh garlic going in. And I'm just going to stir it all around. So we're going to put in, that's the second clove going in. We're going to put in about seven cloves of garlic. And you can see this is taking on a beautiful color. Going beautiful. Got two left. Fantastic. And it doesn't matter if it's um, nice and thick or anything. Yeah. Beautiful. Any of the little drags that's in there, can you put them in here as well? Because it'll just, it'll just all melt down on when it's getting cooked. So normally I would put in fresh lemon and fresh lime, but there isn't any in our supermarket at the moment. So I um, picked these up a couple of months ago and they've been hanging out in the fridge. They're perfectly fresh. So I'm just going to squeeze these in. This is, we have to, as you know, you have to improvise and we're dealing with uh, inflation. So this will just stir it all in. 
I'm going to get the um, the last lick and get all the wall everything that's up on the walls down. So I'm just going to take everything down from the walls of the bowl and just give it a quick. And then I am going to pop the chicken into this mixture, right into this bowl. Now I'm just going to pop all the chicken tenders straight in on top of the mixture. Before you need the gloves, okay? You need to be able to coat every piece of chicken. Every single piece of chicken needs to get coated. So the best way to do this is actually your rubber gloves <laughs> and your hands. So now it has all been manipulated. I washed my gloves off in the water and you can see that my gloves are um, already stained. So this is going to go into the fridge. It's going to be covered. And remember the Greek yogurt is going to be not only a marinade, it's also going to be a tenderizer for the chicken. So um, it'll go in the, in the refrigerator overnight. If you wanted to make this for your family and you wanted to make it in one day, it needs to marinate for at least three hours in the fridge. Okay, before you go ahead and cook it on the open flame. Okay. So I like to put a plate on top and um, put it into the fridge like that. So I'm getting ready now to do um, soak the bamboo um, skewers. So you soak them in water for good, I mean, you, I normally do it for like two hours, kind of overkill because you don't want the skewers to burn when you're either on the barbecue or an open fire, um, as in a fire pit or around the campgrounds. So I just use the Pyrex dish and I pop them in and then I fill it with water and I put a little weight on it. So I'm going. So here we are, it's day two. The chicken is marinated, tenderized, and I'm just gonna give it one last stir, and then I'm gonna start to skewer it. But before I do that, let me just show you what that process looks like. So in comes my Pyrex dish. As you can see, there's water in it. Here's my metal tray, okay? And I use it because it has a little feed on it and it keeps the bamboo skewers down in the water. You want this bamboo skewers to be really nice and wet, okay? You don't want them to be smoking when they're on the barbecue or when they're on the fire pit. And also it helps the chicken slide onto them when it's like this, okay? So have your skewer, you're using the pointy end, you're sticking it in the chicken, out of the chicken, and back into the chicken, spreading it out as flat as you possibly can and leave it down. And leave the skewers out of the box or out of the container like that because it's easier to pick up when you go to put it on the grill. As you know, we are cooking this over an open flame on a fire pit. Um, so it's just simple like that. Now I have all of the chicken on the skewers and I have it in the bowl. I'm going to use the aluminum foil that I used to cover the bowl yesterday and pop it into the fridge. Just for um, hygiene reasons going out in the backyard and everything else like that. I just want to remind you that when you are making a marinade and you are using any type of poultry, you cannot reuse the marinade. It's after coming out of it so the marinade has to go in the trash you can't use it as a dip or anything else i just want to say that for for um for safety reasons okay so the chicken is covered i have potatoes in the um in the oven my kids call them poppers they're just baby potatoes covered in olive oil and um, garlic oregano and um, black pepper himalayan salt yeah the tastes are good. So I have them in the oven um, right now. But I just wanted to show you something that's quick, simple, and kind of frugal and delicious. So, so that what you just witnessed was frozen pineapple. When pineapples are on sale, we buy them. Bar chops them all up into rings. The rings are great to go on your burgers when you're having a barbecue, but they're also great to have if you have an open um, flame and you grill them and you can have them with the chicken and the potatoes because that's what we're having tonight um, and it was a request so it's delighted I was able to rush out to the freezer outside and grab a bag um, and I can't wait my favorite fruit is pineapple so. so 
So I just took the potatoes out of the oven just to give them a stir on the tray. You can see that they are coming up delicious. They're not anywhere near cooked yet, but look, yum. I like to cut, cut them into um, kind of bite-sized pieces. So these are gonna get go back into the oven. They're in there at 375, and they'll be ready when the chicken comes off of the pit. So we are getting ready to cook some chicken on an open fire and we have our fire pit going on. There's the sundial that I spray painted the week before last. And this is what we're going to be using. This is a tripod uh, for cooking on open fire. We bought this at Walmart. It was less than $20 and I absolutely love using it. You can't wait, you're starving. Let's get stuck in. Okay. Oh, dinner is served. Wow. This is gonna be so good. Oh my God. It's the best chicken I've ever made. Unbelievable. Wow. I wish you were here so you could taste it with us, guys. Well, cheers. cheers to you and thanks for following our journey. And cheering us on from wherever you are across the globe. God bless you. Happy. Pleasure. Have a great week. Bye. Bye now.